Hello, you buggers. Scott Grove, DMF Guitar, Part 4. Uh, we're going to start moulding today. Onto the bench. OK, I have here a tin of what is called gel coat. It's uh, resin uh, and styrene. Uh, it's going to be what we use to coat or put the first coat onto the mould. Uh, it allows you to, once the, the mould has been cast, to do a bit of a little sanding, a little bit of clean up, polish it up, all these sort of things. Now you don't have to use this when you're moulding, but it helps. And another thing you could use, if you didn't have this, is the colour body filler and resin mix. We'll do a similar, similar job. This gives you it gives you something to play with once the, the mold has been cast. And it's also good for getting in getting all the details in before you actually start putting the fiberglass mat on, which can have a tendency to pull away from tight corners. So let's get some of this glue in. This is gonna take a while just to, just to spoon this out. Now I'm kind of annoyed with myself because I got black. I mean, there's no reason to get black. Uh, what I should have done is got white because then I have all my uh, resin dyes, which you know I used for the super glue coloring trick. Um, and then, you know, I could have dyed the gel coat whatever color I wanted. It would have meant that when I cast the mold, I could have uh, mixed up some gel coat with some bright green. That would have given me, you know, a bright green base for the uh, body of the guitar, which is essentially going to be the colour it's going to be. Um, uh, hey ho! Never mind. Now then, I've got quite a lot there. Mm, a couple more spoons. Spoons, sticks. Now these are just uh, tongue depressors. You can pick them up really, really, really cheap. <laughs> Very useful for using for stirring sticks and things like that, just to mix things up, throw them away, or clean them off if you want, use them again. <sighs> All right, put the lid on that. Catalyst, now you don't need a lot of this. You're supposed to measure it. <laughs> I've been doing this sort of thing long enough that I don't need to get the scales out. That's what you always see in all these videos with people making this sort of stuff. Obviously, if you can put too much in, it will just go off almost instantly. Now, unlike the uh, car body filler using the red activator, you can't actually see how well this is mixed. So you just have to just keep going until you're pretty certain it's all done. You've got to get the stick right down to the corners. Give it a good mix. Right. Let me just plunk that somewhere, where should I put it, uh, let's put it there, right, I have a relatively clean brush, let's just brush it in, now I'm not glooping it on, not yet. I'm kind of like spreading it all out, just like you were painting it. And that way you can make sure you get in all the little tight little corners.
and I will speed up this process. Yeah, no, okay, okay, I'll do it for real now. So I switched off the camera and just finished it off so the uh, the whole thing's got, got like three layers of fiberglass on it now so that kind of like should be enough. Um, let's just, uh, well this is an important thing. This is not a tutorial on moulding. I am not an expert. Um, you're just along for the ride. If you want to know more about moulding and casting uh, there are a lot more better videos out there. You're just watching me uh, see if I fuck it up. Um, so I have managed to uh, get hold of Scott Grove and he's going to drag his sorry ass over here and uh, have a look, see how things are going and uh, when he does, uh, hopefully we'll change his mug <laughs> on the screen so he'll a different look um, so well that's it, I've just got a, nothing else to do now sit back and wait and uh, Till tomorrow, I'll uh, crack that mould open and we'll just see how badly fucked up everything is and whether we're going to start again. Let's hope not. Till next time, you buggers.